Yo, what's going on guys? Today's gonna be a damage comparison video for two popular builds on wind, one being the Cosmos build that became more relevant thanks to Cosmos for limit break and the damage cap increase, while the other is the standard Magna 2 variant, which is still pretty good, pretty strong. So I just wanted to do a little damage comparison because people were considering what's build is stronger, so I decided to take both of them on the 20 defense and see how well they can put out damage. Now, for people who probably don't want to listen to me, don't blame you, um, I'll put a time skip here so you can skip to that portion of the video where you can see the damage between both builds. I go between 100, 75, and 50. Any lower than 50, I didn't see any point because the Cosmos gun grid was just gonna pop out a ton of damage, so I just kept it at 50. Um, if you guys in the future want to see even lower variables like 25 and 1% health, just tell me and I'll try to keep that in mind. But I just felt it was not that important as, you know, it's pretty obvious. But just tell me how you guys feel about it and then I will make sure to adjust that for future videos. As I mentioned, future videos, that means I will be doing this for other Ellie's. Not only Wind, but the other five Ellie's. I will eventually be getting around to this. I'm not too sure if I want to do Primal versus Magna or if I want to do Primal versus Primals yet. I have not thought about that. I may even do community suggestions. I don't know. Um, this is something I'm trying for the first time and maybe something I do in the future. Um, just, I, just don't count on it for everything. Keep in mind that I have to farm grids. I'm pretty sure that I will be end up getting the Light Cosmos grid which i don't have access to right now um to give you guys a little mention of it a little look at it don't have it so uh i know some people may be asking for it just know that some builds i just cannot do at the current time of making this video are you know in the future it depends on how hard i want to farm magnet gr grids again i was actually doing it on my live stream on twitch if you guys want to come uh chill there while I do refarm magma grids again and skill level 20 of them again so it should be fun said nobody because who wants to refarm magma grids that also means I have to refarm well not refarm but I will have to farm the bunker grids as well that's gonna be fun it's a lot of farming I have to do again you know we're having whale grids uh you kind of skip out on all of that but because I want to do videos on it I can't really skip out on it, huh? Now, can I? Now, enough of that rambling. Let's go look at the actual grids themselves. Now, we'll be looking at the first grid here, which is the Tmot Magna 2 grid, three harps, three guns. Now, what you can opt in is to drop a gun for the Quill, the Quing Long Spear, I believe. It's the Celestial Spear, damage cap variant. The reason I did not put it in here is that it's not the optimal damage because I'm testing on 20 defense. It's a lot hard to cap on 20 defense. Therefore, I decided to omit it just so you can see the maximum damage output. If you was to run this weapon in your grid, you do lose base damage. However, you gain damage cap up for 7%. So it's only really worth it if you're going to be capping all the time. For that reason, that's why it's not here in the grid. Other than that, I did plus 99 every weapon for both grids to have a better damage comparison. You can look at both grids here. I went with the five gun grid um, and one Cosmos. So you can see both grids here. Well, skip all plus 99. So this is for fairness. Uh, other than that, um, Opus key. Now I went with the stamina Opus key. However, I did do different damage thresholds 100% health, 75, and 50. Once you hit 50, the stamina key is not optimal anymore, and it's best to run a midi. Uh, I didn't really feel like I needed to change to a midi though. That, and I really didn't want to because that's like what 10 eggs to go a midi, then go back. So I hope people can understand that. If people really want, I could probably change the opus key, but. I just hope people can understand the situation around. Right? I don't want to do that. <laughs> As for the uh, cap up key, I will always be running auto cap up unless the cap, unless the build is an Ogi variant. 
I will always be running auto cap up as it's harder to cap your autos than your ogies. So for that reason, I'm always going to end up running the ogie, uh, the auto cap up and not ogie. I think that covers everything um, for the weapons. Keep in mind that this grid, uh, the Cosmos gun grid does have 6% damage cap up thanks to the six guns and grid. So this grid does have the higher damage ceiling. You're gonna notice that a lot more when I use Grimnir buff. I actually don't use Grimnir buff to the very end. So you can see the damage cap actually taking effect massively on Grimnir's autos. Uh, I think that's about it for the weapons. Now for the summons, I had to bring Demon Bream as a way to lower health for wind and as a way to lower health for um, both grids. So because I brought Demon Bream for both grids, it's a little bit unfairness because generally on the T-Mod Harp grid, you do not use Demon Bream. You would most likely end up using something like Shiva or Bahamut for stats. So in that scenario, you do lose a summon slot if you're running the Cosmos gun grid as you need it as a way to start pushing out more damage because your damage at full health is really not that great. So just keep that in mind that the one big major fall, uh, major flaw with this grid is that you have to play at lower health. You cannot play at full health as it's kind of hard to cap unless the boss has low defense like 13 like magnet 2 level and below then you can cap but if it's anything higher than magnet 2 you're going to have a hard time capping so that's why you have to bring demon bream if you want to hit higher thresholds of damage but and that's even worse if you don't have monkey and neo then you definitely need to uh bring demon bream because you will never cap really yes monkey and neo are that important um they're the way to make up for the damage loss when you're at higher health now, both grids will be running Primarchs. The reason I'll be running Primarchs in every video is because it's the best way to show your maximum damage output. The good thing about Primarchs is that they do increase your damage cap. However, if you're not hitting the damage cap, you're really not getting any benefits out of the Primarch. So that's why the Primarchs are here to see if you're actually even hitting the cap in the first place. Luckily, when it's one of those LEs where like anywhere like 15 and below, they cap relatively easy with the proper characters. So I have to do 20 defense with this grid because honestly, they're going to be capping to 15 anyway. And I think that covers everything about the summons. The arc room summons will be fully done for each LE. So when I do test them, you see what the maximum damage output is with the fully done arc room summon. But I don't think that's something I really have to mention too much. And I think that covers everything. So with that, we can get on to the actual testing. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. Um, I know I'm gonna get the comments about the light sword grid. So I, I had to make sure to mention that one early in the video, but thank you guys for watching. I won't really commentate over this portion of the video. So just to make sure to leave comments in the video. Till next time though, uh, thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.